Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. I just got asked a question on my Instagram account. By the way, it's fairfile 308 The link for my Instagram account and the link for my book is gonna be there below underneath the video. And the question is, do revolvers have a safety? It's a fair enough question and I've heard it a couple of times or I even read comments of people that say that re revolvers are, are dangerous because they don't have a safety. Usually what they mean by that is it doesn't have an exterior manual safety of some kind, some sort of lever that you actually manipulate yourself. But revolvers, most modern revolvers do have internal safeties. And it used to be in the old days, especially with those older single action revolvers, that you had no safety mechanism whatsoever. And what you used to you do with those guns is leave it with a, an empty chamber, and that was the chamber in which your hammer was resting. So that was the safety, so to speak, in which your gun was safe. If something hit it on the, on the hammer, it wouldn't fire on its own. So being on an empty chamber, you would cock the hammer, and then you would shoot because the cylinder rotates and now you have a, a cartridge and then you actually shoot it. But keeping around uh, a cylinder empty, the rest with cartridges, that was what you used to do. Now that's not necessary, why? Well, because revolvers have safeties. And some of them have actually more than one. Um, you would consider um, a safety mechanism, for example, if once the cylinder is open, if you can't uh, cock the hammer, that's not allowed by many revolvers, or when you try to open the, the, the cylinder, once it's cocked, that's not allowed in some revolvers, and that's somewhat of a, of a safety feature. But in general, when it comes to safeties in revolvers, you basically have two types. You have a transfer bar safety or a hammer block safety. Those two are the most common ones. These two have a hammer block safeties and the way in which it works is pretty interesting. In this called Python it's a little bit more visible because it's stainless steel and it's beautiful as, as well so a good uh, gun says to show this. So what you have is once you cock the hammer you can actually see it. Uh, you see that little bar there going down? Let me point towards it a little bit better. Uh, you yeah, there it is, quite visible, shiny metal. That bar just lowers and allows for the hammer to drop and hit the firing pin. So the firing pin is mounted on the frame and when I pull the trigger back, when the action is worked, it lowers and it allows the hammer to drop and hit the firing pin and there you see the firing pin visible and when I release the trigger, that bar goes up and even if I pull, it's not going to be going back. It's not going to be going forward, so even if I drop the gun or something hits it there, nothing's going to be happening. Now, if you actually pull the trigger, yes, it does. Release it, goes back, bar goes up and that's it. Now, a transfer bar works in a somewhat opposite manner. What you have in a transfer bar a safety mechanism is that the hammer is shaped in such a way that once the gun is going to be firing, that little bar goes up and that's what's actually transferring the energy from the hammer to the firing pin and then firing the round. So it's going up and allowing that transfer to happen because of the shape of the hammer, it has a, like a little spur there and it's going to be hitting the frame without hitting the firing pin. It needs that transfer bar to go up and that transferring the energy from the hammer to the firing pin if not, it won't fire. With a hammer block, it's actually the opposite. It goes up and blocks the hammer from going forward. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this little explanation as to how basic safeties in revolvers work. These are automatic safeties and people are very happy and fine with that. No one argues that revolvers, I mean, no one reasonable argues that revolvers are unsafe. Yet Glock, which, you know, I have my little Matt here, uh, that's from Glock, he, people argue that it's dangerous because Glocks don't have safeties. Yes, Glocks have actually three internal safeties and that makes it for a very safe firearm. It has a trigger safety, firing pin safety, and drop safety. So in somewhat of a similar manner, these are automatic safeties that disengage when you pull the trigger, same as in a revolver, but in an automatic place pistol in the case of the Glock. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video, understand a little bit more about revolvers and how they work. See you on our next video. Have an awesome day.